Hey guys, it's Nina, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I get my locks all clean and fresh. I try to shampoo my hair every three weeks, and I'm going to show you the products that I use, the techniques, and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, keep watching. Note to self, do not film a wash day routine without first shaving them underarms. Because you know sometimes that falls by the wayside in the winter. I'm giving my locks a really good shake. I like to do this before my shampoos just to get rid of any lint fibers that are hanging on. And these fibers would eventually get embedded in my locks during the wash. I do a pre-soak with apple cider vinegar just to break down any product buildup and break down um, the dandruff in my scalp because I get a lot of it. I dilute it, of course. And I find that this gets my scalp a lot cleaner than just using uh, shampoo alone. Because my scalp be looking like biscuits, extra flaky. And yes, that was corny, but for real, my scalp does get very flaky. So I just spread the ACV mixture around my scalp. Now it does smell like raw booty and salad dressing, but it does the job. Next I go in with a Vanity Planet scalp massager. You've probably seen these all over YouTube, but I use this to help with breaking up the dandruff. The vibrating motion really lifts things better than a comb does. And I try to massage my scalp in one place at a time versus combing this through because that helps with tangles. I'm also adding a little bit more uh, apple cider vinegar on my edges because that's where I use the heaviest product, which is my edge control. So I wanna break that down. I let that sit on my scalp for a few minutes and then it's time to hit the shower. So I'm just wetting my hair first and rinsing out the ACV. There are some awkward angles in this shower scene. It's just the way my bathroom is set up. And as you can see, my bathroom is very old. It's a vintage bathroom. So yeah, bear with me. But I'm just loosening up everything on my scalp. This is just with water first. I try to be as gentle as I can because I don't want to rough up the parts. But at the same time, I do need to scrub my scalp pretty well. Then it's time for the first shampoo. So I use the Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Shampoo from Shea Moisture. I do dilute it, as you can see here. I'm just mixing that up. I turn off the water because washing my locks is a pretty time consuming process. And I wanna be nice and green. So I turn that off and then I just spread that mixture all throughout my scalp. During this first wash, you can see that the shampoo doesn't lather up too much and that's normal. Also, for this first wash, I'm mainly just focusing on my scalp and not so much the length of my locks. One quick note, I don't use a scalp massager in the shower because I find that it makes my roots marry a lot more, so I just do that dry. And then I rinse that all out. And when you have locks, rinsing is so important because things will get stuck in your locks, even your shampoo. And it's time for shampoo number two. As you can see, with this second shampoo, my scalp is lathering up a lot more. Or I guess my the shampoo is lathering up, not my scalp. But you know what I'm saying. I tend not to apply a lot of shampoo directly on the ends of my locks. I just kind of work from the top and pull everything down. And this is just because my ends tend to be very dry. And then I rinse all of that out. Another thing about rinsing locks, it's really great if you have a handheld um, shower head uh, so you can really focus on the length of your locks, focus on getting all the product out of your hair. I actually do have one, I just have to install it. Then I squeeze everything out so I can get ready for my conditioner to make sure that it actually gets on my hair. And I squeeze my locks, I don't wring them. I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. Diluting your products is really good for making sure you don't get too much product in your locks, but it's also good for helping you spread everything around evenly. 
The question about whether or not you should condition your locks always comes up. I definitely don't recommend it in the very beginning, but once I hit one year, I started doing it after every wash and I haven't had issues, but it really just depends on your hair. All right, so let me go wash my tail and I'll be back. I'm back. I got some soap in my nose, but yeah, I'm just rinsing everything out, just pulling the locks toward the top of my head so they can get more water on them. And this process is the longest. It takes me about 40 minutes. Uh, so that's why I turn off the water when I don't need it. But I just squeeze everything out. Again, squeezing, not wringing, because wringing can cause breakage. And we are done. So stepping out of the shower, I just separate my roots to address any um, marriages. And sorry that the camera is a little blurry. I don't have um, the autofocus, so it just makes things a little harder. I like to put extra virgin olive oil on my locks after shampooing to seal the moisture in. One quick note, when you have a lot of dandruff like I do, sometimes after the wash, it will end up stuck in your locks, um, especially near the roots. This is pretty normal. Don't think, oh, my hair is dirty. Your locks do attract things, so even though you get the dandruff off your scalp, you might have to work a little harder to get it out of your locks. This is why having a handheld shower head is really great because you can really work it across your scalp. But in the meantime, I just pull out whatever I see. I might even very, very gently brush it out. But I do a silly little photo shoot and I am all finished. So I am gonna retwist my locks, but I'm gonna do that in another video. So stay tuned for that. But that's my shampoo routine. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.